lost my microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my God, I can't even clip it. I don't even know. Technical difficulties. Hello, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I am back with a big book haul. These are books that I got for my birthday. One is a gift. If you hear that, just ignore it. It's my computer, <laughs> my laptop. Some are from Black Friday. Others are that I purchased for my birthday. And one is a gift, like I said, and everything else I acquired during the month of December. This is my last book haul for 2022. There is a lot of books, as you can see. I also have some bookish stuff in here, but we'll go through it. I'm not going to go deep into the hypnosis. I'm just going to show you the books. You know, I haven't done this in a while, so just bear with me, guys. I will be back in 2023 with more videos. I am filming some videos for you guys. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do. So let's just get started. Okay, okay. so the first one is my gift. I already opened it just to make things easier. And this is from my lovely friend, Sue, over at Beauty Book Corner. Uh, she sent me, for my birthday, she sent me two books. And this one is The Beautiful Ones by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I want to read all of her books after reading Mexican Gothic. So she sent me this from my wish list. And she also sent me, I guess I put this one back in here. And she also sent me these Hollow Bows by Lexi Ryan. I wanted to read this one so badly. Look at how beautiful this cover is. So I'm really happy that she sent me. So thank you, Sue. Okay, this one I picked up on Black Friday. And this is Season of Love by Helena Greer. Greer? I don't know. I already read it. I believe I gave it like three stars. I'll talk about it more in my December wrap up if so make sure to subscribe so um i was a bit disappointed on this one but that's all i'm gonna say for now because yeah then i have a very merry bromance i absolutely lo love this one this one put me in a really mood like i just wanted to pick up i couldn't wait to pick up another book this was so good five stars read i cannot wait to read the other books i believe i only read the first book i loved it and then i don't know what happened i mean 2022 hasn't been really good for me lately yes but i didn't read as many as many books as i wanted to i still got to read more than 50 books which is good but we'll see that later on Oh, I also want to say that I got this shirt from, from a bookish shop and it says this is the season to be reading and you can see right here. So I got that. Uh, this one was sent to me by the publisher and these are the book eaters by Sonia Dean. This was a bit disappointing. This was one of my most anticipated releases of 2022. Sadly, it didn't do it for me. At the beginning, yes, I was invested, but then it was so slow, but I have more of it soon. The next book is Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. After reading the Love Hypothesis, I think it was, I wanted to pick up more of her books and I picked up this one. I didn't get to it, but hopefully in the new year. And of course, when I saw this, I had to get it, you know. <laughs> uh, this is The Rise of the Dragon, an illustrated history of the Targaryen dynasty. This is volume one. And let me tell you, this is just beautiful. I will read it. I did read uh, The Eyes and Fire, The History of the Targaryen, the book that came out. And I did watch the series. But, you know, I had to get that one because it's just so beautifully illustrated. And, of course, I wanted it. Then I ordered this book from Amazon. So I got The Kingdoms of Death. And this is book four in the Sun Eater series by Christopher Rocco. I am collecting this and then I'm going to start reading this in 2023. This is one of the series I want, I want to start in 2023. I'll probably do a, a video about it. I'm not so sure, but I will. Then another Amazon pick is Sins of the Father, a mafia thriller. I don't know if this is a standalone or a duology. All I know is like that I saw that. And it just reminded me of Peaky Blinders. 
so of course i had to get it mafia i believe yeah it takes place in 1928 new york city that is all that i know oh i was like i was looking for books on amazon and this one came out so i purchased it the next book that i have is this one i was looking for something on waterstones or where did i get this from i just lost my microphone <laughs> sorry about that oh my god i can't even clip it i don't even know technical difficulties um yeah from waterstones i was looking for a special edition or something and i saw strange the dreamer by laney taylor this is one of my favorite books of all time and when i saw this i was like i need to have it i have to have it added to my collection so that's the story on that one then another package from amazon i went crazy on amazon is fear the flames by olivia rose darling this is another one that i was browsing and amazon uh recommended because of the books that i purchased so yeah uh the, the, yeah this is book one and i don't know what this series is called but i just saw this and i was like i need to have it vengeance is a promise sign in blood fear the flames by olivia rose darling princess prisoner runaway queen so i guess it's vengeance or something like that all i know is like it sounded good and i was just like i need to get that for real another book sent to me by the publisher was is some desperate glory by emily tesh this one i believe comes out in april they did not put they usually send something some information some paper with some information about it but uh it sounded good yes i'm gonna be reading that march around april before it comes out so that i can have a review and then i went to books a million i found this store around my house besides barnes and nobles and amazon so now i have another store to visit um and is homer the odyssey and the iliad complete the reason why i got this is because i read a lot of uh, greek mythology retellings and i don't know the real story of uh the odyssey and the iliad and sometimes I'm reading and I'm like, uh, I'm not really sure, you know, how this story went down. So I decided to get it. Anyways, another book that I got is Rule of the Walls by Lee Bartugo. This is the second book in the King of Scars. I have not read that book yet, but, you know, I believe this is a duology. So probably for 2023, I will read it so I cannot tell you much about it other than it's by, you know, Lee Bartugo. And it's the second book in the King of Scars cars and so when i was at the store books a million they have a lot of bookish stuff and i was just like i wanted to buy everything seriously but i saw this mug and i saw how big it is and i was like i need that and then it says i am the protagonist so of course i got it i'm just gonna put that there hopefully it doesn't fall um another thing that i got besides books was this and i was like oh my god that will made such a great decorating prop for my library so i saw this let me see i saw this tap writer and i was just like i gotta have it i'm gonna get it my friend wanted to get it for me uh for my birthday and i was like no so i went in when she wasn't looking i went i picked it up and <laughs> she didn't realize it until i went to pay for it she's like i can't believe it i wanted to buy it for you for your birthday and i was like no don't worry about it uh so i got it for myself so isn't this cute that is so cute i cannot wait to put it in my bookshelf in my new library so i have a lot of books in here anyways uh, more books that i got from books a million are the second and third book in this series what is this series called the first book what the ruin of kings uh the second book in this series is the name of all things and the third book is the memory of souls i believe i don't know how many books but i think there's one more book or two more that i need to get for this series anyways they were on sale like 7.97 and i was just i i need to add that so that i can i did enjoy the first book i i believe i spoke about it 
in another video if I can find it. If I did, I'll link it. Um, and then I saw that my Dark Vanessa was on sale, so I got it. I do have an arc of it. I read this book. I absolutely love it. It's heartbreaking. It was so good. But I only had the arc and I wanted the uh, hardcover. So when I saw that it was on sale, I treated myself for it to it. You guys, I apologize. This video is all over the place. I'm like in here in my living room, but sorry. Okay, so I have two bags from Barnes & Noble. Yes, I went crazy. Oh my God, I can't even lift this one. Ugh, that's how many books I bought. <laughs> okay, um, I went a little bit crazy. Uh, sorry, I went a little bit crazy in Barnes & Noble. Uh, yeah. So the first book that I got was Value 3 in the Lord Olympus. I'm sure you guys know all about it, but I mean, this is just gorgeous. I read it. I loved it. I really love this book, so there's not much I can say about it. I also got A Merry Little Me Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. Bit disappointed on this one. I got Demon in the Wood. Very nice by Lee Bardugo and Zani Pendergast. Is a Grisha Burst. Of, I'm sure you all know about it. Then I got Ashes of Men by Christopher Rocco. Like I said before, I am collecting this because I do want to start reading this series in 2023. Will I finish it? I don't know. I don't know how many more books are in this series if it was finished. But I know this one just came out in this month or November, something like that. Um, so I went and I picked it up. This one was covered by because they had the buy one, get one 50%. So it's a River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. And I don't know. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. How could you not get it? Another one that I got was, did I get this on Amazon? I think this is a mag on Amazon and I put it in the Barnes & Noble. I'm not sure. Or oh, they probably had it. I'm not sure. But it's... Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. I've seen this a lot on Amazon. I don't know. I mean, I've seen this a lot on Instagram. I don't really know what it is. I know it's dark romance. Uh, you have the manipulator, the shadow. I don't know what it's about, but look at this cover. And of course, I have to get it. Then I'm collecting these new covers. And it's The Barbarian Mind by Ruby Dixon. And barbarian lover these covers are just so beautiful you guys and because i purchased a certain amount of books they gave me a journal my book journal i really don't use these journals i want to start journaling reading you know using a reading journal i'll probably have a video for it later on but and then of course i have to get this because it's all over instagram tiktok everywhere and it's Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. I heard so many good things about it. And of course, I had to get it. And the next book is by George R. R. Martin. This is not anything to do with Game of Thrones. But I believe this is a mystery thriller. Something like that. And it's Favorite Dream. A novel that will delight fans of both Stephen King and Mark Twain. Darling, romantic, chilling, and rousing by turns moody and memorable okay so yeah it looks like i don't know sounds like a vampire maybe i don't know but i cannot wait to read it and the last book in the first barnes and noble bag is it starts with us by colleen hoover um i guess this is the second part or the first part of uh every ending has a beginning so it has to do with that other book that i read years ago it ends with us so i have heard mixed reviews on this one so i don't know it starts with us I have, and I'm collecting her books again because I had them, I gave them away, and now I'm trying to collect them again, and I'm just like, why did I do that? But whatever, it is what it is. Okay, um, I'm going to move on to some Amazon books because, you know, the next box from, the next bag from, I mean, from Barnes & Noble is pretty heavy. There's a lot of books there. Okay, so The Children of Gods and Fighting Men by Shona lawless i heard if you like the last kingdom which i do i have watched that show multiple times i was like okay i love that show i need to check this one out i also got a book sent by tor and that is legends and lattice by 
Travis Balfrey. I absolutely love this book, you guys. I'm sure you've all seen it going on Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. I'm not going to say much about it. All I'm going to say is if you haven't read it, read it. Cozy, great characters, atmospheric. I mean, I just, I, I loved it. It put me in such a great mood, this one. I absolutely recommend it 100%. So yeah, thank you Tor for sending me this book. I still gotta get the review up. So now back to Barnes and Nobles. So I went and they had a sale and I got these socks, these reading socks because they really soft and you know, they're so cute. So I got them. <laughs> and then I was looking for classics and I saw this book and I was like, I gotta have them all. And I picked up all the books, all the books that were there i picked them up you're gonna call me crazy yes call me crazy but i don't care i saw them i thought they were beautiful and i wanted them and i got them okay so these are classics so i'm just gonna show you one by one <laughs> this was crazy i know i went crazy uh these are all the ones that i got and they are so beautiful just wait till i show you guys this is Mwah. beautiful i couldn't just take one i needed to have them all and the reason why i picked this up is because i was looking for wuthering heights and uh the dorian the dorian story what is it called dorian something i don't know it's, it's here so i was looking for those and i saw this this beautiful versions of it and the dorian one the dorian book was black and white i'll probably go back and get those classics because i love them and dorian and wuthering heights are my top classics besides you know pride and prejudice but when i saw this i was just like i gotta have them okay so the first one is the little woman look at how beautiful this is you guys i mean i'm not lying to you you can see these are gold edges look at that look at how beautiful these are so now you can see why i couldn't just pick one then i have mansfield park by jane austen i haven't read this one but look at i think this one the thickest the thickest one of them all but look at this you guys i mean how could you not pick this this one is northanger abbey north northanger abbey i don't know how to say that sorry but look at how beautiful this is you guys look at how gorgeous this is this one is pride and prejudice and the edges are silver i don't know if you guys can see that good but the edges are silver look at how beautiful that is this one is dracula I just have to i had to have them all i think i didn't get one of them it was the only one that i get i didn't get wuthering heights this is the one that i was looking that i was looking for emily bronte in gold then i have the secret garden oh my god i love the secret garden i have another uh barnes and nobles edition special edition and i love that i love that the secret garden the little princess oh my god i just those are like my favorite too my favorite classics that i have read a couple of times and then the picture of dorian gray i couldn't remember the title i know it was dorian gray i mean for a book that i adore <laughs> uh you know I, sh I shouldn't know the title but here you have it look how beautiful this is golded Ages. I didn't look inside, so I don't know if there's any pictures or anything. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. But they, the pages are nice and soft, you guys. Oh, this is beautiful. I highly recommend this version of it. I mean, I would hate to read from here, so I'm probably going to get the other version they had. And then it comes with, you know, the little bookmark here. Adore it. Adore it. Adore it. Love it and then of course because i spent a certain amount of money i got another journal which i probably won't be using but here you go i'll probably do a giveaway or something i don't know okay so continue on with sorry so 
continue on with this back on Barnes and Noble. I got the three books. These are from Anna Juan. I got, actually I got four, four of the books. These are it. Twisted Games. This is book two. Twisted Love, book one. Twisted Hate, book three. And Twisted Lies, book four. I believe there's only four books in this series. I don't know when I'm gonna read it, but I have to get it. And then, um, since the second book for this one is coming out next year and I already saw the cover and I know that I'm going to get it, I decided to get uh, The Priority of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Look at how thick this baby is. I mean, the letters are not that bad. At least they look big to me. So maybe that's why it's so thick. But, you know, I've been wanting this book. I finally treated myself to it. And yeah. The next book that I got is Kingdom of the Fear by Carrie Maniscalco. I still got to get book two, but Barnes & Noble's, the, I believe the first one that I got is the Barnes & Noble's edition. I cannot find the second book in the Barnes & Noble's edition. I'm probably going to have to buy the regular one, whatever it is. Uh, so when I saw that they had this, I was just like, let me just grab it now before, you know, it's out of stock. And then I saw this and I was like, I read this book either last year or beginning of this year and I absolutely loved it, but it had a different cover. So when I saw this, I was just like, I need to get this. Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson and it's a signed copy and the new cover for this. How beautiful is this, you guys? And it's just beautiful beautiful i don't know when i'm going to read all these books but you know and then i was talking to my sister and i think we saw something on oprah or something like that viola davis was having an interview with oprah and my sister said that she read the book and she's like it resonated she was like read the book because some of the things that viola davis went through she's like you're gonna be seen once you read this book so I was like, okay, I have to get it. So I saw it on Barnes and Nobles and I was just like, okay. Um, and this is Finding Me, Viola Davis. So I had to read it because my sister recommended it. And she said like she cried because it reminded her, you know, when we were poor. And I had to say, I'm not ashamed to say we grew up very, very poor. My mom and my dad, they had eight kids and we were really, really poor. Really poor. Like we only ate like rice and beans and sometimes we only ate rice. That's how poor we were, okay? We were like, you know, shoes we passed down from one child to the other. That's how poor we were. So it's, it's the fact of life. We grew up very poor. So she said to read this because, you know, it, it was good. So I'm going to read it. I'll probably cry. So who knows? I don't know. Before I continue on with more books, <sighs> I just want to open this box. Um, this is from Books Britain Re Reality. I don't know. This is a bookish shop. This is where I got this sweater. They sent everything um, separately. I don't know what's in here. I know that I ordered some mugs, so that's probably what it is. So these are two. I thought I got more, but I guess not. I got this mug, and it says book to the bone. Look at how cute that is. Look at how cute, and it's on both sides. I love that. The other mug is call me a good girl and take me to the bookstore. <laughs> yes it's a smaller size i i prefer this size of mug you know but i believe that's that was the only thing they had so these are mixed this some of these i got on amazon some of these i got at Barnes and nobles and then i have some clothing let me just show you more bookish stuff this if you follow me on instagram you have already seen it no not this one but anyways there is this uh, shop that is called dark and disturbed i found them recently on instagram and i went and i bought like five shirts uh the first one that i got is submissive and breathable the other one is clever as the devil and twice as pretty yes i'm pretty the one that i got is tatted up and well read I have about seven tattoos, in case you didn't know, but they're all over my body. 
<laughs> the next one i believe this is one that you saw no this one is oh yeah I, I love this one i love this one this one is hello darkness so one of these you saw on instagram i just put it on just to show take a picture before the holidays and it says dead inside was jolly as fuck and then the last one that i got from the shop is sark and disturb so yeah dark and disturb so what do i have here oh no okay so another thing that i'm recording on my cell phone is because my mic broke so i had to get a new mic so here we go uh things are looking up maybe on the next video I don't I don't get to use the iPhone because I really don't know how I'm going to do this <laughs> and I don't even know I have the space on my phone to be recording so hopefully everything here I can transfer to my editing computer so hopefully okay so back to the books let me just get this on top because I'm afraid that these are going to fall okay so I got only a monster by Vanessa land I believe I got this in an Alcray box I don't know, but I, I forgot that I had it because if you guys want, I can do like a library, you know, like welcome to my library. I can show you my, my shelves and stuff like that, but like an overview, but I keep my Alcray special editions on top of my bookshelves and I forgot that I had this in like, I don't like returning stuff. So anyway, and now I'm collecting this series and this is Half a Soul by Olivia at Water. This one is 10,000 stitches. I don't know if there's any more. I'm sure there's more books, but those are the ones that I saw at the store. And then I have my best friend's exorcism. And then this I purchased because I watched something on Netflix. It was based on real on a real story. And they said the guy wrote a book back in I don't know when it was first uh, published and I was just like I'm gonna go look for it it was in the 1800 or something like that I don't know the movie took place yeah the guy <laughs> the guy was born in 1804 and he died in 1869 so he published this book I guess before his death and it's all about spirits and communicating with spirits and I found that so interesting so of course I went on Amazon I found it and I purchased it it's called the spirit the spirits book i forgot the show on netflix what is called the movie but it was good i watched it and i had to get the book and then um i purchased this from i don't know i saw it i saw that i don't know if you guys can see that but um i saw this the pumpkin night siege of winter and this is snowflakes and falling leaves present the pumpkin night siege of winter by Madison madison and nesbitt a holiday epic not intended for children so it's supposed to be like horror or something like that and i saw it and i was just like okay amazon no i didn't get that on amazon i think it, i got that from a publication for a publisher in the uk or something like that i don't know it, it was a lot in the shipping so yeah the next book that i got is a funny you should ask a novel by elise Elisa Sussman. I know guys, I just realized I'm not giving you any synopsis, but I mean, as you can see, this video is going to be so long and you know, I'll link everything to Goodreads if you want to read the synopsis or you want to get it, I'll link it in the description below. And also I'll put a timestamp so you can move to the books. So check out the description box and also the timestamp if you want to skip to some of the books uh, because I'm not giving you a lot. So yeah, I do apologize. Um, another book that I got, well, this one is thick, is Demon White by Christopher Rocco. Like I mentioned before, I am collecting this. I believe this is book two or book three. Yeah, I think this is book three. I got book four and five. And then I got When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill. I have read some of uh, Middle Grades by Kelly uh, Barnhill. I liked it. So when I saw that she had an adult book, I was just like, I'm going to get it. And I believe next year she's going to have another uh, adult uh, novel coming out. I'm not exactly when, but 
when I do my anticipated releases, I'm sure I'm going to mention her. Some paperbacks here is Abby Jimenez, Part of Your World. Of course, this one going on around Instagram, book talk, whatever. And then Always Be My Duchess by Emily Howard. I feel like I showed this in a previous book haul. If I did, I apologize, but it was with my thing, unless I bought a second and I didn't realize it. Then As of Desperation, a novel by Megan Nolan. I believe this is a thriller, mystery, not sure. Mystery, thriller, not sure what it is, but I got it because when I read the synopsis, it interests me. The next one that I got is The Christ the Christie Affair by Nina de Gramont. This is one of my anticipated releases for 2022 that I did not get to read, but hopefully in 2023, since things are looking up for me, things are going better. Fingers crossed I can get to it. Another one that was uh, anticipated release is A Far While the Magic by Alison Sapt. I forgot what it's about, but you know, it has a map in here and I was just like I love books with maps the next one is another anticipated release and it's a sister song by Lucy Holland I got a lot of uh, I bought a lot of my anticipated releases because I really did wanted to read them but because of health and other things in life that got twist you know turned upside down I haven't been able to read as much but I did get to read, especially the month of December. When I do my December wrap up, you're gonna see how many books I read in December and I'm just like happy about it. Another anticipated release is The Book of Gothel by Mary McMean. This is, um, it's like a Rapunzel retelling. And of course I have to have it, but who knows when I'm gonna read it. Another anticipated release was Echoes and Empires by Morgan Rhodes and she is, the author of The Fallen Kingdom, that I have read the first book like twice or three times because I wanted to finish the series and I didn't even pick up book two, but 2023, I promise I'm going to read the series. Another one is Love in the Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson. I really wanted to read this in October, but I didn't get to it, so another book that I wanted to read but didn't happen in 2022. The Dead Romantics by Ashley Puston. Then I got The Witchlings by Claribel A. Ortega. Um, all I know is that the synopsis sounded good. Bound Without Magic Before the Black Moon, Bound by a Circle with No Circle Spells Doom. I don't know what it is. All I know is that I read it when i first read the synopsis it sounded interesting to me and i went and i got it can three wishlings do the impossible every year in the magical town of raven skills young wishlings participate in the black moon ceremony are placed into covens and come into their powers as full-fledged witches and it's about a 12 year old that's all that's all i'm gonna say because that's all i know and then the marvelers by danielle Clayton, let's see what it says. Ella's family didn't believe in gassing up, gassing you up. Close iron, make your bed, clean your plate, and most importantly, did you mind your business so nobody was minding you? Even now, during the greatest, the awesomest, the most spectacular thing that had ever happened in all 11 years of Ella Durant's life, her parents were scrabbling and telling her what to do. <laughs> it sounds interesting and we do have a map. We do have a map, we do have a map. Oh my God, did I show you guys upside down? Yeah, this was upside down. Why is this upside down? What did I do here? I'm not sure, but look at how beautiful that is. And I believe that is all that I have for you guys. I was going to unbox some Alcrays, but I figure I leave that on separate because uh, I have some books that are special editions that I pre-order and I have some Alcray, so I'll leave that so you're going to get 
some book hauls from me i'm gonna have a few videos coming up i don't know if i'm going to be doing those end of years beginning of year videos like the worst the best goals i don't know if i'm gonna do those videos but if i feel like at the last minute that i want to do them you'll see them soon if not then i'm just gonna start posting my content for 2023 the next video that i'm gonna have for you will be my january tbr so make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already if you lasted this long thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye